Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, bring in your uh, downloaded JPEGs from your presentation into um, Premiere Elements. Okay, so you go to Add Media, go to the folder that you save those files in, which is probably your download folder. Go get those. So I had three. In your case, you should have way more. It's important that you also remember that you sit down at the computer, same computer every time you work, because it saves the working file on that computer. Okay, so there's the media. I just uh, give you a second. Okay, I encourage you to uh, bring in your media to the video line. Uh, one thing that's useful to be aware of is you can either enlarge or shrink this line it's better to be have it a little bit bigger so that you can see what's going on if I see how long this clip really is I want to bring this over here I click and drag it I'll bring in my next slide which was this one drop it there um, and then my last slide and I might want to just drop it leave some space sometimes it allows you to eat more easily work with them as you see sometimes it will be matched one thing I want you to notice, there's no audio. So in this case, if I was going to do a narration, I would record it at the bottom here and uh, add it after. Okay, we'll look at that a little bit later. So if I want to add a title, but like the video that I showed you, you have to click somewhere that is not um, on top of. Uh, so you go to Tools, sorry, Text, New Text, uh, Default Text. So here you go. This is going to open up. I'm just going to close this here. Um, close it. There you go. And I can add my title. So art. Oopsie. Press play by accident there. Pause. <coughs> just re-click on here. And you see my cursor is blinking. So I'll write art is life. All right, you can go and get it from your document and uh, just cut and paste it, which I'm going to do for the second thing. So I'll go over here, Control C. Be careful, some of the fonts that you will use won't be imported because this is a web font while the other one is a hard font on your computer. So you might not be able to get the same font. You can go to a website called The Font. Just type that into Google, and I'll have a tutorial on that if you uh, are looking for a specific font. That's only for your titles. If it's already been put in your image like this, that'll say because you say this is an image. All right, let's go back. So uh, I'll add another text box. Let's enter. All right, Control V. And I just cut and paste the one here. Just give me a sec. Okay, guys, just um, click on the horizontal uh, type tool. This is vertical. If you want your text to go vertically like this, so I'll click on this and I'll paste my document or the information I got from my slide, and I'll put that in three sizes. So I may want to uh, shrink this a little bit. Here's a scrub tool. I'll shrink it a little bit. If I click here, it'll align it. All right. If I click on this title and highlight it, you can click on a style and go get a style that I like. Maybe that's the one. There are several. I want to scroll down a little bit. Um, let's go with this. Is kind of cool. I'm gonna go with that. Resembles a little bit what I had before. I'm going to go back to text, and I'm going to scrub this, make it larger. All right. And I'm going to add a color, make it nicer. So maybe like red. I'll go OK. Then I'm going to click on the Move tool, because otherwise you can't move it really well. And maybe that's what I want to do, is have that effect. So I'm going to click over here, and I click Animation. And uh, I mean, it doesn't matter for now. Just I'm going to apply this one to it. And I'm going to click over here. I'm going to apply 
apply a second animation here. Um, okay, well, we'll leave it. We'll just have this animating for now, just since this is a tutorial. I'll let you guys play around with it a little bit. Um, And just to return to our slideshow, one major thing I forgot to mention is this up here is what's called your playhead. And where you locate this is critical. As you can see, as I scrub it around, you'll notice that you can see my movie play. Now, I'm doing this manually by moving it with my mouse. And as you can see, it's kind of boring when I just put the pictures like this. And I'm going to show you in a second what one really cool idea that you can do. You notice here there's a blank underneath my playhead so nothing shows up so you need to click and drag this over and it'll clip um, you can obviously sometimes when I want to do a preview I put it way at the beginning and then I press play as opposed to uh, moving it myself it's way easier to do it this way so you can see so there's some effects here I want to fix we'll fix that later I'll get you guys to so like that's boring we need to do something with that and I'm going to stop it right now because there's a huge blank here and I know that. So I'm going to just, it'll snap too. So let's click on the first one. I want to do something with this first clip. And you notice if I clip on this, you don't actually see this, this one here until you move the playhead over it. So I'll usually move it to the beginning, depending on what I'm trying to do. Now I see what I'm working on. So I clip on this and you will show in Premiere 11 a bunch of tools show up at the bottom. And there's a lot of things that you can experiment with and you're welcome to do so one of the tools that i'm going to use for our slideshow is uh it's called pan and zoom i think this is going to be a cool thing to use i put a tutorial of this and i'm going to have sent this to you but i'll show you how i do it with my slideshow and i'll only do one just for the sake of an example so i'm going to start by moving the first one to the top okay and I'm gonna grab the corners here and go like that and I create a second frame and the second frame I'm gonna put it down here and maybe I want to focus or maybe I want the whole thing in fact I want more so I'm gonna go like this focus on his knee if I did that but I want more I want to do it like this okay I'm gonna make sure I don't show anything else there we go we're there and then I'm gonna click my third frame Go over here and maybe I want to just show the writing for some reason okay um, you notice you can't it's pretty it's not the best to get the exact size of what you want but anyway that's how it works so here if I need to create a new frame again I'll click new frame and the fourth frame I'm gonna put it over here and go all the way down large is here and then I am ready to go. So I will click uh, done. So now let's watch this. I'm going to click play. And you can see it starts where the first frame is. You take your photograph and all of a sudden way more exciting. It's like a movie. It is a movie. And instead of you uh, filming it this way, it allows you to focus on what you want this to the next slide which is pretty boring There's nothing happening there and uh, there you go something important I forgot to show you is to save as a project file so save as so I don't know my new video is not so good I'll go art show art is life which is the name of mine and make sure it says PREL, which this won't be able to be opened by any other program except Premiere, but this is a working file. So it's like a PSD. It keeps track of all the work that you've done. Click Save. And when I am done, I'll export this as a movie file. But I'm not done yet, so let's not worry about that for now. So um, I just want to talk about transitions for one second. You'll notice um, I just move these apart so that I can add a transition so there are many of these and you're welcome to experiment with them it adds a, a neat effect to your your show for a second you gotta click and drag it in so I'll do that at the beginning and usually it's up to you I'll put this one between clips click done and you can see there's a little icon now so 
for the transition effect to zero, make that clip. Uh, and I'll add a transition to this one as well. Choose a different one. You should definitely see what they look like. Um, how do I do that? Again, just use the playhead. I'm going to just move this over. I move this over. Give me a second here. So I'm going to move my playhead. See how the other transition looks. See if I like it. Sure, good enough. And same here. I'm going to move my timeline here a little bit. And I'm going to apply another transition. I'm going to use this one here. Drag it over here. And this one again, apply between clips. Done. Okay. So that will add an effect. It's pretty neat. Boom. And then we're into the next one. Another neat effect is if I move my playhead in the middle of the clip, you'll notice a scissor shows up. If I click on that, it creates two new scenes. This could be a neat way to apply an effect. So I just selected here. You'll notice there are many effects. Again, you might want to experiment with these. Uh, and what I'm going to do is select a clip here and uh, play around with this possibly. Okay, and this could be a, another. I don't really want to play around too much with the effects. I'll let you guys do that. Um, I'm going to show another really neat effect that you can apply. I guess it would be really great for our slideshows. So it's important that I put my playhead over where I want the effect to be happening. So over here. Okay, so this is the one. So I'm going to click effect over here. I'm going to use the uh, crop tool. And as usual, you drag it over where you want. You'll see it. And notice I actually opened this panel. Maybe it's closed for you. When I add it, it shows up here. So click on it and start playing around with it. So I'll notice I want the top. Uh, I want the whole image to be visible. So I'm going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to shrink this to over here and bring only my image. And I want to see the bottom too. So I'll go like this. So I'll have basically the whole image up to the top here. And uh, I'm done with this one. So if I go and I can run my playhead over, you see what you'll see is this happen. Then that when wherever I cut with my scissor, the next play comes in. So let me show that up. So I'm going to now again, again click on effect, click on crop, drag it to this second clip, and go over here. Effect is open. Click over here. Uh, again, I want to see the top and I want to see the bottom. Well, maybe not actually, because in this case, I want to just focus on my text. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go all the right over here, and left, like this, and bring down the top a little bit. Creates a whole different effect. It's really cool. So definitely uh, worth trying. Again, you can check with your playhead, see how it comes in the effect. Maybe you feel that it's a little too long. You can always just shorten your, your clip by clicking on the brackets here like we did earlier on. I'm not going to really bother with it. But there you go. That's another neat effect you can apply to the slideshows that you've brought in.